this video is sponsored by Idle Heroes. Hey there guys, how are you? So a lot of new changes, a lot of new updates, and I figured rather than give you a boring update video, I'd give you a Q&A video where I give you some updates along the way. So here it goes. How are you, John? Where are you now living and why did you move? For the most part, I'm doing pretty good. I mean, life's a little bit complicated, you know, with adult things where you have to pay bills and taxes and credit card debt and college loans and blah. But with all that said, I'm doing pretty good. I did move, and you guys, if you've been watching my channel for the last, I don't know, six, seven, eight, nine years, yes, it has been that long, I move on average once every two weeks. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I did recently relocate from Ohio to Huntsville, Alabama. Huntsville is where Nick Fury's from. Did you watch Captain Marvel? He said that. And the reason is I met a girl who's too good for me and she's currently attending college here to get her master's degree and I'm able to work from home and I figured why not move here for a couple years, go on a journey, move somewhere I haven't been and uh, so far I do like Huntsville, Alabama. It's very convenient. There's actually a Best Buy and a movie theater and a Panda Express all within a mile radius of where I live now. So it's pretty much like, I don't know, my version of heaven. Now let's get back into the good stuff and answer your questions. What did you think of the rise of the Skywalker trailer? I really enjoyed that teaser trailer of episode nine, but then again, I really enjoyed the teaser trailer for episode seven and episode eight, and like or hate episode seven or eight. And on a side note, the more I watch episode eight, the more I dislike that movie. Every time, I'm just like, why did you do that? As a teaser trailer, it got me intrigued to see the movie. I like seeing the Death Star remains in that oceany, arctic setting. That gave me little chills down my spine. I can't wait to see what happens with that. I hope it's not just they walk by it and go, oh, that's cool, that's the Death Star. Awesome. And then they keep walking. Please, they have to go into that thing, explore it, and I'm hoping that they come across Emperor Palpatine at some point. Maybe he's just been in there eating Ewoks for the last 30 years and setting up little booby traps. That's what I would like to see, but I can't wait to see how that all culminates together. Are you avoiding all the spoilers for Avengers Endgame? So what I'm going to do to avoid spoilers, and my recommendation to you is just lay in your bed in the fetal position with cardboard taped to your windows with a pillow over your head. Just do that from today until the movie comes out and you might be okay. And very quickly, before we dive deeper into your questions, big thanks to Idle Heroes for sponsoring this video. You can play Idle Heroes anytime and anywhere. A few weeks ago when I first moved into this apartment, I didn't have the internet for two or three days, and I played Idle Heroes on my phone for two or three days as I laid here on my floor waiting for the internet guy to show up who had a mullet, by the way, really nice guy. That's besides the point. It's a fun and enjoyable game that you can play at your own leisure. There are daily tasks you can complete in just five minutes, and all you need to bring to the battle is strategy. There are six factions in the game with more than 300 unique heroes. Idle Heroes is completely free. Click the link down below in the description box to download the game. Check it out. And once again, big thanks to Idle Heroes for sponsoring this video because, well, they make things happen like electricity and the internet and being able to make videos for you guys. So big thanks to them. Thoughts on the original Pet Cemetery Are the sequels worth watching? I never really loved the original Pet Cemetery film. It was one of my least favorite Stephen King films brought to the big screen. Then again, I sort of like Maximum Overdrive. So <laughs> who am I to say what's good and bad for Stephen King? Um, but as far as the sequel goes, starring Edward Furlong, it was sort of a guilty pleasure movie. It's it's a bad movie, but there's little things about it that I really enjoyed, and maybe it's just because I liked Edward Furlong when I was a kid, because I just imagined him being my best friend. And as far as the remake of Pet Cemetery goes, I did see the movie a few weeks back, and overall, it's an okay horror film to watch. I, I would recommend maybe renting it or watching it on Netflix one day. I don't think it's that mandatory theater experience that you need to go to. But I did think it vastly improved upon some things that the original fell short on. And it goes into a little bit more depth and focuses on the actual Pet Cemetery. And I enjoyed those little things about it. So I think the remake of Pet Cemetery might be a better movie than the original. And you don't really say that too many times these days, do you? What kind of camera are you using now? Your videos are so clear. Also, tell us how you really feel about the Star Wars trailer. Well, we already talked about the Star Wars trailer. I just hope I like the movie as much as I like the trailer. So please, JJ, just give me a good movie. And as far as the camera that I'm using these days, I'm actually using a Canon 70D. It's the same camera I've been using for the last couple of years. Uh, before that, I used a Canon Vixia HF-G10. And if you want to know what kind of microphone I use, and even if you don't, I'm going to tell you, I use a Rode video mic that I bought in 2012. <clears throat> My name is Morgan Freeman. 
Uh, I've been doing that joke for six years. I'm the only one who finds it funny. What do you think about all the Disney live action remakes? As a dude who really enjoyed the Jungle Book film that we got a few years back, as far as the upcoming live action Disney remake movies, you know, I could take them or leave them. You know, I'm a fan of the animated classic stories that we already have. As far as a remake, do I feel like they're necessary? No. Do they make Disney more money? Yes. Uh, as far as Dumbo, I didn't go to see that film. I have no desire to go see Dumbo. If it's on Netflix at 3 o'clock in the morning and it's a rainy day and I have some Sour Patch Kids and some popcorn and a Diet Coke with three ice cubes, no more, no less, and some leftover Panda Express, orange chicken preferably, and some fried rice, I might just watch that movie. Maybe. And as far as the upcoming Lion King remake, I'm excited to see it. I just hope that they tweak a few things in that film to make it worthy of having a live action remake. Don't just duplicate exactly what we already have. And as far as the upcoming live action Aladdin remake starring Will Smith as the genie, <laughs> oh man, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to go see the movie. I don't have high expectations. Um, I, it's not how I imagine that movie looking in live action because when it comes to Aladdin, it's my favorite classic animated Disney movie of all time. So, what are you most excited for in Endgame? Oh, another Endgame question, and that's okay because I really want to talk about the movie. Um, pretty much I'm most excited just for the fact of going to see the film. I need a really good theater experience because it's been a while since I had one of those amazing, mind-blowing experiences. Um, another thing is I was actually invited to a screening of the film, but it's in Atlanta, which is like three and a half hours away. And I could see the movie two days early, so I'd have to drive seven hours to see the movie two days early. I don't know, I don't know if I'm willing to do that. Uh, but what I most want to see in that film is I want to see Hulk actually transform in that film and get his revenge on on Thanos. Give me that scene because he has he's got a lot of making up to do, and Hulk's one of my favorite characters of all time. But really, there's a thousand different scenes I want to go down in that film. You know, Captain America, who sacrifices themselves? Who dies? I don't know. What is the post credit scene in that film? There's so many things happening. All I can say is, I'm so happy it's three hours long. If it was four and a half hours long, that's okay, because I'm going to wear an adult-sized diaper to the film. I will not take a bathroom break in this movie, so I'm sorry for the person sitting next to me. You know what? This is the one film it's okay to uh, pee your pants in. Remember the flick pic said that. John, I want to start a YouTube channel with movie reviews. How do I start? You just push record on that camera and you go. Keep in mind, your first videos will suck. Everyone's first videos suck. I look back on some of my videos and I cringe. I still watch my current videos and I cringe. That's why I don't make a lot of videos because during the editing process I'm cringing so much I'm just like, ugh, I gotta walk away for a couple weeks and then come back. Uh, but in all seriousness, just start making videos. Just go for it, you know? You'll find your own voice along the way. You'll find your own style. You know, just whip out your camera, turn on a few lights, and make the best video you possibly can. Over time, they will get better, but the first thing you have to do is just push record on that camera. It's that easy. By the way, very quickly, once again, this video is sponsored by Idle Heroes. You can download it with the link in the description box. Are you thinking of getting Disney Plus? Uh, probably not. You know, I already have Netflix, I have Hulu, I have Amazon Prime. I just recently got HBO, but that was only to watch the new season of Game of Thrones, which, by the way, every Sunday, it's pretty much like my reason for getting through the week, just so I can watch Game of Thrones. I love it so much. Oh, God. Ooh, do you guys watch Game of Thrones? Let me know down below. Uh, anyway, as far as another streaming service, probably not. And to be honest, I watch so much YouTube. I watch so many random YouTube channels and random topics about... You know, the making of laser discs in 1982 and, uh, you know, how to build a birdhouse and movie reviews. It just, I have so much stuff to watch already. It's almost overwhelming. So I probably most definitely will not be getting Disney Plus. What movie made you fall in love with movies? Uh, I don't remember the exact movie, but I do remember ever since I was a kid, I've always enjoyed movies. They were always an event for me, you know. Uh, going into the video store on Friday night, I was able to rent two movies, or I could rent a movie and a game. And it was like this escape, you know, it was like going to another universe, walking into Blockbuster. It just, it was like the thing I look forward to most throughout the entire week. Um, so I discovered a lot of random movies, just going up and down the aisles of Blockbuster, picking up weird covers, movies like Shocker. 
That's how I discovered Shocker. I was like, oh, this looks weird, so I'll, I'll watch that. And also growing up, I remember my dad used to record movies off of TV or HBO on the beta tapes. And kids, if you don't know what a beta tape is, it's sort of like a VHS tape, but it's another version. It's almost like what HD DVD is to Blu-ray. Think of it that way. So I remember we had this huge shoebox full of random movies on, on beta tape that my dad would record and he'd write the titles on there or scribble the titles on there and I discovered so many awesome movies that way like movies like uh, The Warriors movies like uh, Point Break so thank you guys for all the great questions it's always fun to connect with you guys I feel like this is the best way to do it because I can't respond to every comment, so why not just answer your questions on video? It's so much better. Also, look out for a very special review coming a few days before Avengers Endgame. It's a review a lot of people have been asking me to make that I never did, so look out for that video here on the FlickFake channel. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. That way I can see you next time. Take care.